Time now for the CBS 3 Pet Project with animal advocate Carol Erickson, the PSPCA, and a big boy, but a real sweet oh, I, I, Everybody, if you are in the market for a big dog, mm -hmm. this is the one. I'm telling you, this is a wonderful dog available at the Pennsylvania SPCA. This dog's name is Mill. He is giant. He is a lab mix. He's mixed with something very big and mm -hmm. very, very sweet. He's great with kids. He's a wonderful dog. Run to the Pennsylvania SPC. Keep me from doing it because you know every mm -hmm. time I say that, and I've been so right on with the with the dogs that I've fallen in love with here on the set. This is another one. He is great. Again, his name is Mill Pennsylvania SPCA. Um, now you have a cat. I do. I love him so much. I know you do. Your cat Riley, and you know, and everybody loves their cats, and sometimes they don't love their cats when their cats act clingy. But I don't know if that's a bad thing. Is being clingy a bad thing? Well, if it's constant weaving through your legs or meowing at That's you true. or scratching at your door if you're trying to sleep yeah. then it can be we've got some great video here I want to show you and, and I'll give you some of the talking points but look at some of these beautiful cats Jan Aww. they're just gorgeous yes. all right so they're too clingy they get in the way constantly and actually you know it's not good for them either because these overly dependent cats are at risk for depression and even illness if their owners are away and all Aww. this information is from uh, the catnip the catnip, which is a great newsletter from Tufts uh, Vet School. Now, chronic clinginess can even make devoted owners say, hey, enough is enough. They may want to start yelling, and that's the last thing you really should mm -hmm. do because these are cats that need constant reassurance. Prevention, preventing a clingy cat is far easier than trying to change the clinginess, and the mm -hmm. way to prevent, indulge your kitten with attention. If you give them all the love that they need when they are young, they will feel secure, safe, and loved from the very beginning, and they won't feel the need to be obsessively clingy. Let your kitten enjoy as much contact with you as they want, and even let them sleep with you. Now, to reduce clinginess in a cat that you might already have, do not push, yell, lock away, punish. It can make it worse. I know it's tempting when they get like that, but that they are seeking mm -hmm. some, some love and approval, and just as when you're in that mode, if you ever are, and you get pushed away, you need to get reinforced more. Please Please love me, please love me. Cats are going to be doing the very same thing. So throw an enticing treat or yeah. give them like a burst of just great enthusiasm and petting and that sort of thing. That sort of wears them out for a little mm -hmm. bit. And if they want to sleep with you, fine. If they, if they don't, they can have their own room and uh, put the, the radio on low and just kind of make your whole household, as you saw in that video, a little more cat friendly. So maybe they've got a, a cat tower near your desk and it can reduce some of the need for the clinginess. I honestly think I'm the clinging one in the relationship. <laughs> well, you know. Okay. Better me than him. You know what? I, I totally agree. I'm the same way with my dogs. Uh, let me show you some great adoptable animals. And you know, there are 200 adoptable cats at the Pennsylvania SPCA right now. We're only showing you a couple wow. of them. This one looks like, like a Fu Manchu cat or something. Oh. Look how sweet that cat is. This is this beautiful animal named Anne, three-year-old black and white Persian cat who is rescued by the cruelty department, but she is very friendly and just gorgeous. So mm -hmm. make sure you take a look at that cat. Her name is Anne. And MacGyver, oh, this poor baby, he hasn't had the best luck. He was brought in by Humane Law at the Pennsylvania SPCA. He was found in a lockjaw trap, Aww. and his injuries were so severe that one of his legs had, had to be amputated, one of his front legs. He's a little bit timid, but boy, he needs somebody to show them that people can be great. And Stovetop, we've got a big dog here, and this is a big, bouncy, fun dog. I love Rottweilers, and this is a 10-month-old Rottweiler mix. He just wants to play. He's a puppy. He's got all those great puppy qualities and just wants to be in a home where he can be loved and understood as the great animal mm -hmm. that he is. And again, we've got Mill here. I know he's a little hard to see on the set with me in black pants and a black sofa here, there he but is. there you go. This dog is two years old. He is wonderful. He is big, so calm. gorgeous, calm, friendly, wonderful with everybody. Mill, Pennsylvania, SPCA. Check him out. Run, don't walk. Yeah, as really, Carol says. really. Remember, go to the headquarters, yeah. 350 Erie Avenue. That's the PSPCA headquarters. Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 5, Monday through Friday, 1 to 8 p.m. And just love on your cat and then give them space. That's what they like. Th that's right. That's exactly right. You know, yelling never wor really no, works with never, anything. Never. I may feel good in the short term, but it <laughs> doesn't work long term. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Thank you.